everyone. Welcome to She Codes, episode number 14. Today we are going to have a conversation with Ms. Priyanka Subhagini. She's an experienced mobile engineer with great history in working in the entertainment industry. She likes to create apps on React Native, Swift, on iOS. Her colleagues say that her dedication, proactiveness, enthusiasm are quite infectious. So without a delay, please welcome Ms. Priyanka on She Codes. Uh, hello Priyanka, welcome to She Codes. Uh, it's lovely to have you here. So tell us about yourself, uh, your hobbies, uh, your passion, your professional journey so far. Uh, our audience will love to hear that. I graduated in 2015. Um, I was placed in my show from off-campus drive. Initially, I had no idea of what I'm going to do next. So I just kept it dynamic because I had to go with the flow. Uh, I really enjoyed my journey. Like when I look back at my graph from when I was in college, when I had, when I knew nothing about it, of how my professional life is going to look like. You know how we are in college. There are few people, uh, or maybe many people, who know what they are going to do next. But I wasn't one of those. But luckily, I guess I had great managers who helped me through this path, who helped me to find my interest area. So when I was in Mumbai, so I. Switched my th- uh, switched my team from back end to front end to now here I am iOS developer uh, primarily a mobile developer so it's a great journey from being a software developer to a senior engineer then becoming a lead the best part about uh, being in consumer oriented companies is uh, you know when whenever you are with a friend or say any cousins or any gathering and they are using your the application that you are a part of and then they are on a screen that you have built. And I just say, oh my god, that's me. Do you, do you know that I have built that one? So at that moment, you know, the interaction level is amazing and you really feel proud of proud about yourself. Well, I completely agree that, you know, you feel so proud when you see your family and friends using the app that you have developed or you were part of the team. So uh, it's pretty exciting to uh, see them, you know, using it. All right. Uh, my next question to you, Priyanka, is uh, what are your technical skills uh, that you think you have expertise on? Honestly, when it comes to skills, it's about the way you think and not about one particular language or framework that you work in. It's about what people want and how can you deliver it. Now, being a mobile developer, being an iOS developer, my uh, technical skills include uh, iOS, Swift, or working on React Native. Um, but I consider them as old fashioned ways of evaluating your tech skills, like frameworks and languages and stuff. So I I would like to categorize them as you know, somebody who can take uh, initiatives and who's proactive about things, who's enthusiastic about learning new things and taking responsibility from start to end given a task. So um, I would like to put that one as my skill that whenever I get, whenever I intend to learn something, I try to make it fun. Uh, let me give you an example for this. Uh, after like after getting out of college, I was uh, out of practice for data structures and algorithms, but I realized that it was too important. I guess it must be happening with too many developers out there. Uh, so and I couldn't you know learn like practice it by myself. You do not get uh, enough time, or maybe you start and then you stop after some time. Okay. Pinka, so what are the future technologies do you think um, is really catching up and uh, what are your plans uh, in order to catch up on the future technologies? Uh, what are you doing on those lines? I'm kind of a person uh, who's really interested in a variety of things. I So whenever I hear something, something is coming new, I really see, I really tend to see what's happening around. So uh, I like what is happening with uh, artificial intelligence currently. Like there are a few great companies. They are building these cool, you know, glasses around it. Uh, me currently, I am uh, about to work on augmented reality, which sounds super interesting, super cool to me, and I would want to make you know, something innovative around it. So I'll give you one example of Snapchat. Uh, you know, you use Snapchat, apply various filters every day. So Basically, how it works is it just um, these kinds of applications detect your face, various points in your face, and then put filters all over it. So this is what uh, augmented reality is about. 
So what it actually does is, uh, it's just knowing your environment and trying to place things in it. So just to make, just to give you a real feeling. It's super interesting and I am excited to work on it. Absolutely, uh, AR is something that uh, the entire industry is excited about, especially the fashion industry, the furniture industry, as you said. So, uh, yeah, completely agree on that. Uh, my next question to you, um, a very important question for She Coats is, how has been your journey as a women engineer? And uh, what would be the advice uh, you would have for uh, women engineers out there? Honestly, I was one of those uh, who just started in engineering college because they had nothing else to do and didn't really know where to go next. Uh, but after working on you know variety of things, uh, especially the consumer-oriented the applications, uh, it was kind of paradigm shift in myself. Uh, I just want to say that we all will have ups and downs in our career life. Everybody happens. It, it happens with most of us. Uh, but then the real and important thing is how do you come out of it? How do you get out of your comfort zone and try to achieve something that you can that you're interested in and you can be really proud about? One small advice that I would like to give you all is uh, do whatever you're enthusiastic about uh, because when you try and put in efforts, like people around you really appreciate it and it becomes infectious. And if you do something great, uh, people around you try to achieve it. It's kind of it, it becomes a healthy environment and healthy culture where everybody grows together. Thank you so much Priyanka for coming to SheCodes. It was lovely to have you. Your story was quite you know, interesting and uh, wish you all the luck uh, for your career and the technologies you want to uh, experiment on. Uh, it was lovely to have you here in SheCodes. Thank you Swati. It's really great that you're bringing up female coders uh, onto this platform and speak in such interviews. It really helps boost up their confidence and uh, it will be helpful in their career journey, journey ahead. Uh, honestly, I never thought I'll come to this point. I I belong to a wrestling industry where girls are married between 20 and 23. But then I have come so far and I'm extremely proud of myself. Um, uh, I didn't have that level of excitement before. Um, like I did. Now I wake up before my alarm. So the excitement level you all can realize. So I feel that I finally found myself. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you guys for watching our video. Uh, I would request you all to please subscribe to our YouTube channel and keep supporting SheCodes. Thank you.